two numbers are in the ratio of 3 is to 1. If the larger number is 12 more than the smaller number, find the smallest number that should be subtracted from the product of the numbers so that the remainder is divisible by the sum of the numbers. Options have been given 12, 18, 8, 15 or none of these. Now let us first find out what are those two numbers. Right? He says there are two numbers which are in the ratio of 3 to 1 and the larger number is 12 more than the smaller number. The larger number is 12 more than the smaller number. I think by the time you finish reading this point, you should figure out what the numbers are. I mean this is not a complex calculation, it's very easy to do. And if you have practiced enough on your calculations, you will be able to you know, tell what the numbers are by the time you reach that point. How do we do that? Simple. Go by the concepts of ratio that we have discussed in our video, right? Two numbers are in the ratio of 3 to 1 means what? First number has got three parts, second number has got one part. The first number has got three parts, second number is only one part. Basically like 3x and x, right? I mean, like how we say 3x and x. So it is like three parts. This is one part. We know that the larger number is 12 more than the smaller number. Now look at this. Which is the larger number? Three parts. Smaller number, one part. The larger number is how many parts more than the smaller number? Two parts. Yes or no? 3x minus x. So basically the question is saying that 3x minus x is equal to 12. The larger number is 12 more than the smaller number. The larger number is 3x. Smaller number is x. So 3x minus x. 2x equals to 12. Which means x equals to 6. If x is 6, what are the numbers? a is equal to 3x, which will be 18. b is equal to x, which is 6. We know the two numbers. Again, like I said, you have to do this mentally. You cannot be writing these steps on paper. Then, right? The numbers are 18 and 6 respectively. Right? 18 is to 6 is 3 to 1. And the larger number 18 is 12 more than the smaller number. So the numbers have been found. Now look at the remaining part of the question. It says find the smallest number that should be subtracted from the product of the numbers. So what is the product of the numbers? a into b. A into B is what? 18 into 6, 108. So that the remainder is divisible by some of the numbers. Find the smallest number that should be subtracted from the product of the numbers so that the remainder is divisible by some of What is the sum of the numbers? A plus B, which is 18 plus 6, 24. So that the question now says, what should I subtract from 108? What should be subtracted from 108? So that whatever is remaining is divisible by 24. Divisible by some of the numbers is 24. I mean, you can replace some of the numbers with 24. You can replace the product of the numbers with 108. So now we read the question. It says, find the smallest number that should be subtracted from 108. Find the smallest number that should be subtracted from 108 so that the remainder is divisible by 24. So what can be subtracted from 108 so that the remainder is divisible by 24? See, look at the multiples of 24, right? 24, 24, 48, 72. 96, 120. Of course, 120 is more than 100. Forget about this. But 96 is divisible by 24. So, which means if I subtract 12 from 108, the remainder will be 96. 108 minus 12 is equal to 96. This is the remainder. This is the remainder that I was talking about, right? So that the remainder is divisible by the remainder is divisible by the sum. So 96 is divisible by 24, right? 96 is properly divisible by 24. So what are we subtracting? We are subtracting 12. We are subtracting 12. And remember, the question said find out the smallest number. The smallest number is 12. That way we can also subtract 36. Even by subtracting 36, we get a number which is divisible by 24. Right? 108 minus 36 is equal to 72. And 72 is divisible by 24. 72 is divisible by 24. But we are not considering this. We cannot say 36 should be subtracted. 36 is also correct, but he is asking for smallest number. So smallest value that can be subtracted from 108 so that the remaining part of the number is divisible by 24 is 12. The answer to this question should be optional. So purely a number based question. I mean, you just have to play with those numbers and arrive at the answer. And in my view, there's nothing that needs to be, you know, put on paper. You can, you can mark the answer to this question without writing a single step on paper. I mean, 3 is to 1 and difference 12. That itself gives you numbers are, numbers are 18 and 6. Once you know the numbers are 18 and 6, Product is 108, sum is 24. You know that 108 minus 12, 96 is divided by 24. So 12 is your answer. And it should take about 20 seconds maximum for you to do this calculation. All right? I think the, the point that I'm trying to make is cut down the number of steps that you write on paper when you solve such questions. There's no point in, I mean, the questions are usually easy. We make it complex and lengthy by you know writing all the unnecessary steps.